Hey guys, I'm here with my Audi TTS and today we're going to install an ethanol gauge uh, because I want to start doing a little e-blend on the TT and you don't want to run e-blend with just kind of like guesstimating the numbers like um, <clears throat> you will want to know like exactly what's in your car because if it gets thrown off these cars they don't they don't readjust automatically so um, this is something you're gonna want to do and to help with getting your calculations right I do have an app uh, it'll be in the link in the description it makes it very easy to calculate the percentage that you'll be putting in your car so let's go over the tools you need and these are just kind of like um, you may need more you may need less you may be able to do it with just like your hands if you're like caveman style but some duct tape coat hanger you'll see why normal wiring stuff <clears throat> some like wire hide plastic stuff butt connectors uh, the thing to like splice the wire some ply boys uh, a lighter for I like to always use the connectors that melt down I did have a butane torch but um, my stoner brother probably freaking stole it because I keep my tools at my parents house but um oh yeah fuse tap this is gonna this is how we're easily gonna connect to a an accessory power source uh, the ethanol gauge itself this is an uh, innovative ethanol gauge I got it on eBay it was I bought this a while ago I think it was around 200 maybe like 150 um, it was I ran out my GTI for a few years on my garage doors for trying to close uh, you and then the ethanol sensor itself and as you can see like these wires have been wired before I just kind of cut them and ripped them off the GTI and um if you're 21 you know if you're 21 you'll, you'll probably need that um, so yeah let's get started so first thing we're gonna do cut the fuel line and install the sensor onto the fuel line <laughs> Okay, so our sensor is now installed. So just using hose clamps on the fuel line, just cut it there and now we can get that plugged in and start wiring. 
This is what our clothes hanger is for. We gotta get those wires up there to the uh, fuel sensor, or the uh, ethanol sensor. Take the camera off the tripod here. How many times did I twist this thing? The way I'm gonna run this up to the sensor, well, that ends with the wires, is I'm gonna take the clothes hanger, shove it through this hole where this car is a DSG, so where the clutch pedal would be. There's a nice little space right here, just with like a, like a rubber thing behind the foam. I'm just gonna poke through that and uh, that's how I'm gonna get the wires up there. If you have a manual, like on my GTI, there's a, uh, you can find like uh, wires going through to the engine. Like see here, those wires are going through the firewall. So you'll poke through there, that's another way. It's not quite as easy, but that's how I did it on the GTI. I just I just used wires that were going through the motor, or going to the motor to uh, get to the engine bay. So I'm gonna poke that coat hanger through and then I'll get back to you. Well guys, I don't think I need the coat hanger. I, I pulled off the foam thing and all there is is just this little cover and it's a nice open hole. So I'm just gonna run the wires See, look at that freaking open hole. I'm just gonna run the wires and then I'm gonna uh, maybe make a little cut on the edge right here for the wires to go on, go through and then then uh, I'll get back to you. Okay guys, look how good this car looks. Um, ran the wire it's right here, ran it back behind some foamy boy stuff zip tied it there I'll keep it taut zip tied it here then put it right into that hole I showed you I put that little rubber gasket back on and I put the foam back on too and here we got our wires and so let's start wiring this thing On this gauge, it has uh, three wires going to the sensor, red, black, and white, as you can see. And then it has a red wire, that's for power, and then a black for ground. And that's all you gotta do for the power. I'm gonna wire it up to, uh, I think I'm gonna do my tire pressure monitoring system because it says it wants a five amp and uh, I don't, even if my if it blows the fuse, like the tire pressure, I have it disabled because this car was funky when I got it. So I think I'm wired to there, and I'll show you. I might ground it to one of these bolts in here. And uh, oh, and by the way, this is an an Ozer. I think that's how you pronounce pod. I did all it is is a little plastic piece and then you take off the silver rings of your stock one and put it on here and then you slide it right into your vent and then you can mount your gauge in here and uh, obviously this is for uh, Mark II TTs and TTSs but yeah um, I'm gonna get started I'll set the tripod up and uh let you guys watch, it's time for some wiring. So it looks like what I'm actually gonna do is feed the wires through right here. I'm gonna put them through and then through the vent right here. I wanted to go through down there just so it's like a little more out of the way of the fuel panel, but I could not find a spot. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna feed those wires through now. Here's our power, here's our ground, here's the three wires going to the sensor. So, I'm gonna start wiring up everything. Thank you. 
I wired these three, the black, the white, and the red, to the sensor up front. Now I'm gonna go use my uh, Uh, my uh, tap of fuse. I think that's what it's called. For the power, which is the yellow cable. So, um, I was at Papa's and the, the girl who was making my order said, Hey, how are you doing? I was like, Good, how are you? Uh, she asked, are you excited for Thanksgiving? I was like, oh yeah, I love seeing like <clears throat> the family and stuff. Um, I see her pretty often, so she kind of knows me. Um, but then she asked, are you gonna smash? And I, I just stood there and I, I said, uh, <laughs> I was like, uh, excuse me. I don't, I don't quite know what that means. And uh, she says, are, yeah, you're gonna eat a lot of turkey. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I've never, is that what they're calling it these days? I've, I've never uh, heard that uh, kind of terminology for uh, eating turkey. Um, let me guys, let me know if you guys have uh, ever called it smashing <laughs> to like a stranger. <laughs> Monitoring, which is 5A. Oh, that's, that's a five amp fuse, so that's what we need, and it's only gonna turn on when the car's on. Use my needle nub pliers. I think I'm gonna use that nut up there for the ground. Nut. She's reading. So um, everything's looking good. I haven't cleaned up all the wires yet. So pretty easy install. I'll get back to you guys when um. Oh, I like how that gauge looks right there. I'll get back to you guys in a when I after I clean up everything. Guys, everything is cleaned up. She's purring. It's reading about 10%. That's normal. I'm just on 93. Um, so now the car is going to be ready for a uh, e-blend. I'm thinking 30% to start, uh, just to keep the uh, the uh, knock and noise down because the car is starting to be, starting to get pushed. And we'll see on when I'm going to install the water methanol kit. And guys, uh, in a week or two, I'm going to post a video exactly how to get the. Uh, water methanol percentage you want using my app in the description below uh, It works really good. I'm quite proud of it and uh, Yeah, thanks for watching guys Really liking this car See you in the next one